Greetings my fellow captains, welcome back, Ross Grease Gaming back with another video. And today we have the tier 9 Assaults um, doing a review on this, but we're going to be doing it as the public test server version, and I'm also going to be pointing out some things that we might need to discuss. <sighs> so, tier 9, this is going to be the new tier 9. I can't show you all of the ships currently, but when the... Uh, patch does come out i will go through every single one show you the armor everything like i do for every tech tree so whenever it gets out i'll bring you now the full lineup but just like everybody else who has seen my uh, previous video on the french which i'm going to put a card up on the top right over there um you can find it right there and get uh, onto it, what we were talking about last time if you uh, are up to speed on this this is just another update on that previous video and now more content to it so feel free to uh look at that old one or stick around we're gonna talk about this one so tier nine this is what it is um well, let's go over some of the problems I have with this thing. First off, you don't have those Beaufort things. So you had the 37s, the 20 mils, the 100 mils, and the dual purpose 152s uh, that you had on the Gra uh, De Grasse, the premium uh, cruiser from tier 6. So they're pretty cool guns, but they just slapped this onto a battleship and uh, slapped on a couple 100 millimeter guns and uh, slapped on a couple of uh, little machine guns and stuff like that. <sighs> and. That's not without going with the other pain and headaches that are involved with this ship. Uh, first off, the biggest problem I'm going to talk about right off the bat is the armor. There are multiple weak points on this ship. And it's not where you actually think it is. The main armor on the ship is pretty damn solid. You have 32 overall. You have 230 on that slide that's angled and a little concave on the inside. The Citadel sides are a little weak, 50, 250 in the front and 50 on the sides with a um, double. You had the auxiliary rooms and then the casemate uh, to get through to that 100 millimeter, uh, that 40 millimeter uh, Citadel deck. But do you notice there's this weird yellow on the main battery guns, guys? Yeah, that's right. The bar beds are exposed on these main battery guns, and it's 120 millimeters. So a 5-inch gun roughly can penetrate this and incapacitate your guns. I don't care what anybody else says. That is truly annoying, and that is a major weak point on these shells. So if you get a lucky hit here, bink, your guns are incapacitated. And you only have three of these, so be careful. I hope your guns don't like you. I hope you don't like your guns getting incapacitated every single salvo. Number two, the problem with this thing is, if you go with the range mod like I've tried, you might have some trouble because it does increase that dispersion. Right now my dispersion is, um, if you go through 276, if I reduce that and put in to maybe buff the anti-air, Let's let's say we buff the anti. Let's let's say we buff the anti air up. Okay. We're gonna sell this. We're gonna buff the anti air. Now the dispersion is two forty six. However, your range does drop like a stone a little bit here. Now your gun range is twenty point three, with a maximum concealment of twelve point six. It's not that great. I do like my long range shooting and that really hurts me. So that's one of the major gripes I have with this ship right off the bat. I do like buffing my guns quite a bit, but if you're gonna have, and I switch over again, you have your main battery guns get to that kind of dispersion with decreasing just three kilometers more additional firing range the 276 it's almost a spray and pray kind of technique that's pretty bad for a ship of this size and this high of a tier so yeah it's one of those little problems i have with this ship even with the main battery uh aim mod uh, modification on this ship it it really does make it feel like you're struggling but enough of that let's talk more about it when when you're playing it Okay guys, so this is the tier 9, and 
First thing I want to point out, guys, the, the gun rotation on this ship. It's actually pretty damn solid for tier 9. As you can see here, the front turrets definitely turn. You're going to be using a lot of the front turrets on this ship very more often. Um, uh, but there's a few other points I like to point out. First things first, I do have the range upgrade, so watch the dispersion on these shots. Yeah, and get used to that, because if you do use the range upgrade, you are going to get dispersion like that, and you're not going to get a lot of penetrations on the top and lower deck. So, you might consider not doing the range upgrade because of this. A lot of people have already told me that I hang with that I should be removing that. Now, another thing I also want to do is... Now we're putting the speed boost on. Now watch this thing kick into full power, full gear, full speed. And this thing can definitely kick up some serious dust. If it was on road. Since it's not, watch it kick up some fresh water out of the ground. Alright, here comes a battleship. He's now broadside. I'm hoping my reload comes up in time. Looks pretty good, and there's a salvo in. I'm gonna say get used to that. Misfired the wrong button there. Had to hit the plane. Yeah, maneuverability wise, the tier 9 isn't too bad. It's it's typical of a large, big hulk of a be uh, of a ship. You know, one that's large and obnoxiously annoying. And again, you can see that dispersion once again, folks. It's not good. Really, it's not good. And the other thing too is I'm also going to point out the penetration. The way that these shells penetrate the target. I feel that it could do more, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like I'm hoping for that shell to penetrate, and it doesn't. Like, if we get a broadside ship, I got pretty good locations of the shells, and it feels like it's penetrating, but it doesn't do much damage, and it feels like that overall for a lot of the shells when you play this ship. It feels like you're wishing the shells hit and do some serious damage, but it's not there. It's as if it's invisibly there. And it doesn't say that it doesn't penetrate, but it doesn't feel like it penetrates well enough for its tier. It feels almost as if I'm using a tier 7's hitting characteristics instead of a tier uh, 9 and it goes for that for a lot of the shots and that's not including running the anti-air defenses and stuff like that now also let me also point out guys if the way this ship seemed to me it seems more that I definitely going to need to bring out the um, sorry plus track of thoughts right there I feel like I'm definitely going to need to use uh, superintendent on this one. I usually don't put down a lot of vouchers, but this is one of them I think that actually um, I recommend that skill because you're going to need those speed boosts to get from one location to another on the map, especially if the team isn't doing good and you need to pull some serious positioning for your team and help them out. But hey, that's the way it is. Now let me also point out something else that they did. Watch when I do this. I'm going to hit... Um, if you double tap the S key, watch what happens. It automatically goes to full back for you guys. So you don't have to spam the W key anymore. You just double click and it'll automatically move you from back to forward. Or forward to full reverse. 
And I think that is a welcome change that they did to this. Now, see right there, I just incapacitated one of his gun turrets. And that was just with one of my spray shots that just sprayed on and hit that barbette on the top. And that's what I mean by the guns need a little bit of a help. The guns definitely in this ship feel like they're not have much. Now, if it's going against cruisers, I'm sure it's going to use some serious power. But, broadside battleships? Your Carolina is going to do better than this. Your Carolina is going to do better than you. Your Germans are going to do better than you. Um, your fellow, um, all the ships feel like they're good. This is, feels like this is, uh, it feels underwhelming. It very feels very underwhelming to me. And that's unfortunate with this skill. I don't know if with the range changes if you do decrease the range you're gonna get better but it feels underpowered a little bit and I really can't prove that because if I try to prove it then I'm just one of those people that's looking at the wrong way Now here's where another thing I'm talking about. Watch. Here's the anti-air. Oh no, Raz. What shall you ever do with all these planes? This is gonna be a problem. I'll see what you can do. There's one. There's two. squadron comes in I mark the planes start going forward and he's keeping a hefty distance away from me now let's look at the Alessance there I'm gonna try to angle my armor and yep now it do some serious damage and that's when they got close get close to the target, that's a different story. Yeah, I'm expecting a shot from him, so I'm angling the armor. And see, now if I get close, the shells penetrate very, very good. When you're far range, these shells are, well... What the hell is it aiming for, you know? Now another problem too, if I also point out, is the how long the modules for anti-air last. Not very much. And right now, you're gonna see me, I'm gonna die now. And that's the problem with this ship, that the modules die very quickly too, and how's that? You're gonna die very quickly. Ugh. And that's what the the that's critically the one problem with this ship it's one is the guns don't feel like they penetrate very good at farther ranges but close range they do because of the way the guns um feel underperforming and number two the mo the your secondaries and anti-air defense um guns even with preventive maintenance if they get hit by one or two secondary guns they're toast they're literally gone. And then you're sitting at the end like this, just sitting in the water, just hoping 
you didn't die, but you did. So, yeah, that's my problem with this ship, but is it viable in the game? Yeah, absolutely. It's just, it feels like if you're doing battleship fighting with other battleships, you're going to feel like you're going to have to wish you were in a different battleship. If you're going against a cruiser, oh, you're going to have some fun. And I think that's what the key thing is with these French battleships so far from what I'm seeing. They're more of the flanking ship with the fast speed, getting onto a target, getting up in those positions where, where it's really needed and assisting the team where it has to be. Uh, where the other ones are going to be doing the more of the grunt work with more of the taking the rounds, blocking the shots, holding the lines while the cruisers uh, get in certain positions to help assist and the destroyers going in and taking out the major points that need to be taken care of and getting those snipe shots and helping out the assisting. But that isn't what's saying that Masashi and Missouri are one of those two ships that are taking out targets as well. But overall, Alessance needs a tiny bit of help. And I'm not saying with any of the mods, it just needs a little more penetration value on the hikes, the armor piercing, so that the rounds actually can get those citadel instead of penetration shots at far range. Because it feels like you're rolling the dice like an aroma a little bit. Uh, whereas this ship feels like it's you're struggling a little bit on those kind of shells. Uh, but overall, I think it's so far for, for trying it out. I still got to dance some more circles around it. But I think overall I got a general feeling of the ship. Definitely you can't really... I don't know if you would recommend you put in the range ball on this ship. Because it feels like you're, you're struggling a bit more. But that's all we have for this video about the Alessance. Uh, next video will be on the entire line, and we go walking through it and everything else about it. So stay tuned for that, and hope to see you guys in the next video. As always, take care of yourselves. See you in the next one. Take care.